Gulliver's Adventures in Lilliput Once upon a time, there was a man called Limuel Gulliver. Limuel Gulliver was a doctor who lived in England. He liked traveling a lot. One day, he decided to go on a voyage to the South Seas. He prepared his boat and took his food and water. On travel day, he jumped on his sailing boat spread his sails and let the wind push his boat to the South Seas. The weather was perfect, the sun was shining everywhere and the gentle wind drove him directly to his destination. Three days passed and Gulliver was sailing alone. He felt pleased with the fine weather. On the fourth day, while he was sleeping at noon, a big storm blew. A lot of heavy clouds appeared in the sky. They were so dark that the day turned into night. He woke up in fear. The boat was rocking violently from left to right and from right to left. He felt the boat was going to sink. Gulliver struggled hard to gain control, but he couldn't. The big storm wouldn't let him sail safely. And suddenly, a very big vortex pulled down his boat, down and down, that he fainted and believed that he is a dead man. After hours, he woke up to find himself surrounded by tiny people, about six inches tall. He was chained inside a large temple. All the surrounding people were very afraid of him as they thought he was a beast. A lot of soldiers were raising their swords, spears and armors. Gulliver tried to move, but he couldn't as he was still feeling tired. What happened? Who are those people? He asked himself. The king of Lilliput came towards him and asked, Who are you? What are you doing here, beast? I'm not a beast, Gulliver replied. I'm a man just like you. What are you doing here? King Lucas asked. I was sailing toward the South Seas when a big storm blew and a vortex pulled me down here. Gulliver replied, Where are you from? King Lucas asked again. I'm from England, Gulliver answered. England? What is England? King Lucas asked. It's a country like yours, Gulliver replied. So, you're from a country full of beasts, King Lucas said. No, sir, we're not beasts. We're humans just like you. However, we are bigger in size, Gulliver replied. I am a peaceful man. We will see, King Lucas said and left him immediately. He left Gulliver chained and surrounded by his army with no food or water. The king was very busy as the national day of his kingdom was approaching. He was holding a big celebration. Many kingdom officials, including Admiral Scott, Princess Heidi's fiancé, and Joffrey, the Minister of Treasury, were attending the festival. As they were eating, listening to music and celebrating, a lot of fireworks were launched into the air. Suddenly, a big fire started up and the wind helped to spread it all over the place. They all ran everywhere. The guards were trying hard to put out the fire using water from the near sea but they failed. Gulliver was still sleeping on his back and suddenly he heard the noise and saw people running here and there. He saw the fire. Gulliver unchained himself. He moved to the sea, picked up a big ship, filled it with water and dropped it directly onto the fire. He immediately put it out. All the surrounding officials were very surprised and happy, except for two. Scott and Joffrey, who seemed to be jealous of Gulliver's strength and favor with the king. 